All right, what is up ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Brandon Coin YouTube channel. And today I have a, uh, maybe a little bit of like tips and tricks kind of guide. Um, what do you do when you have a rig go down and you don't know why it's gone down? I'll just kind of walk you through the steps that I take. Um, there's no right way, there's no wrong way. I guess there's technically a wrong way. My cat's right here. But um, I just came home and rig number five has been down for a long time. It actually went down earlier today and I could not get it to come back up. I just went in and the first thing I always do is I hard restart it. So I cut the power off and fully cut the power back on. Um, give that a second, see if it comes back to life. If it doesn't, the next thing I do is I plug a monitor into it. And a lot of people are like, oh, well, how do I get a monitor to show up? Well, let me show you. All right, I apologize of the fan noise, but this is my rig five. So typically, um, you wanna make sure power's on. I always like to make sure that the actual like LAN port or ethernet port's blinking, especially when using Hive and you're not using any monitor on it. Uh, the next thing is I want to just, you know, verify and turn it off and then plug a monitor in. On this one, it's set to automatically display graphics out through the VGA port right here. But if you're on a motherboard and you have not had that setting, then whatever your main slot is for that graphics card, you'll plug that one into video. Um, a little trick on that, if you can't get any of your video to come on any of your cards and you're using a more traditional style motherboard like this, unplug all of the risers temporarily just so you can power it up and run video through your motherboard to make sure at least your motherboard and CPU, that kind of thing's working good. Now do note that there are some Intel and AMD CPUs with no integrated graphics. Uh, on the Intel side of things, that is the, uh, I believe those are the F models, so just denote that. If you have like a 9600F, it's not gonna have integrated graphics, so you will have to have a graphics card. And then on a lot of first gen Ryzen and second gen Ryzen, if it's not, I believe it's not, if it's not a G model at the end, I'm not sure. Just, just double check that, because you might be trying to get display output on a motherboard, but you have a CPU that doesn't have an integrated graphics uh, chip on it. So um, I just plugged that in. We're about to power this bad boy up and see if I can't get some video out. So uh, I'm using one of these little seven inch displays. These have uh, HDMI and VGA in. I, I like these for doing troubleshooting because you can just plug in real quick. Looks like we're getting, we're getting display. That's good, Octo Miner. That beeping right there means that I don't have a keyboard plugged into it. It's pretty typical for Octo Miner. It looks like it'll auto execute and load into Hive in 20 seconds. So we'll give that a second and see what's up with that. I'll be right back. All right guys, so it actually loaded into Hive and it looks like everything's loading up correctly. So, I did power cycle it, and then when I came back over here, um, I unplugged my USB drive, and I plugged my USB drive back in, and then I turned the power back on, and I think that might have been my issue. Um, hold on, the big fan just turned on. I want, I want to elaborate more on that in a second. All right, so my rig number five, NVIDIA rig, has come on. It is populated. It's running. 209 mega hash so that is good and all happy right there um, but there are a couple more things I did want to go over for you guys uh, so you can check them so if you're still having problems with your rig restarting or coming back online on Hive um, and you can't get any video out to see what's actually going on on the motherboard like I said earlier pull all your cards off um, and if you can't get any video out uh, with all your cards off then you know you have either a power supply motherboard cpu or ram issue because the cards aren't anything part of the equation so uh, once you have that ruled out what i like to do is i'll add one card back at a time this isn't something typically that i have to do very often so it's tedious it takes time but whenever you have a bad apple it ruins it for the whole bunch so i'll add one card back at a time and see where or when I run into an issue. And at that point, when I run into that issue with that card, unlike this motherboard, typically I'm working with one of these, I'll replace the riser and the cable and the giblet. The giblet's the little piece that goes into the motherboard, the USB cable and the riser for that card that's giving any issues. 
um, then restart it. If it's still giving issues, I'll leave that card off, put the rest of the cards back in there one at a time, and then take that card and put it on its own separate rig or test bench, if you have a test bench, to see what's going on with it. Typically, nine times out of 10, everything's fine, but every now and then, I, cards do die. They can die, everything is man-made, um, nothing lasts forever. So over the course of my mining, a little over four years now, I think I've only lost maybe one or two cards legitimately. Um, and whenever I do have an issue and I do lose a card, um, I will ask around, see if we can't get a new BIOS flash on it. My biggest thing back in the day was AMD cards and I would have a bad BIOS flash and it would halfway run or somewhat run, but it would crash out. And once I got a good flash on it, she was good to go. Um, other than, I mean, Nvidia cards though, they're, I mean, they're tanks. I mean, AMD cards are tanks too. It's just when you start flashing stuff, you, you get weird circumstances. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I, hopefully I, I hit some of the most common things, you know, on the head and if you have any other questions, please comment down below. Um, I'm working on my truck a little bit. The intercooler pipe right here actually blew. Uh, it blew a hole in it. It was like dry rotted. So we put a new intercooler pipe on right there. We put a new intercooler boot on right there. Sorry, the boots, not the pipes. Um, just so I won't have any issues with that. And um, I need to get these tables cleaned off because um, the guy that works with me actually wants this. This is like a wooden table. And then that's just a temporary table I threw up while I was messing with rigs and stuff. I have a couple more cards coming and then for the for a short time I won't be messing with the actual mining closet anymore. So I was gonna cap it all back off, close it up, and put it back to normal operations. Um, to try to get it sealed up real nice and then get all this area clean, back the truck out, and I'd, I'd like to get started back working on my cars. So. If you enjoy cars content, check out my other channel. I'll put the link at the very bottom of my description. I have a Turbo Integra. I got a Turbo Civic. We got a little, you know, turbo truck right here. This is a turbo diesel. Um, I haven't actually shown this on my on my other channel yet, but um, we're getting around to it. So anyway, guys, I'm, I definitely went way off topic here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Adios.